Thomson's experiment. We create a uniform magnetic field using an electromagnet perpendicular to the electric field applied by the metal plates. The field of the magnet flows from North Pole to South Pole. Now let's apply Fleming's left hand rule. Let us stretch the three fingers of your left hand perpendicular to each other. If the index finger points to the direction of the magnetic field, and if the middle finger points to the direction of the electric current, you must be wondering why it is pointing in the opposite direction to the beam. That's because the beam is made up of electrons. The flow of current is usually in the opposite direction to the flow of the electrons. Then the thumb would point to the direction of the motion or thrust. So going by the direction of the thumb, the beam would actually move upwards. The displacement would be proportional to the magnitude of the magnetic field. If we increase the magnetic field, the beam will move further up. We adjust the magnetic field just so much that the beam moves up to hit the point P again on the flat surface. So we are just canceling the effect of electrical field by using the magnetic field. So force on the electron due to the electrical field is equal to the force on the electron due to the magnetic field.